Alrighty, welcome back. Hope you got rest after that last boot camp. We're gonna have a quick little lesson now showing you the difference between inserting a keyframe and inserting a blank keyframe. You'll learn the F7 keyboard shortcut for adding new blank keyframes. I'm gonna go fairly quick because I really wanna get you to applying these principles to real world animations, all right? We're doing our little baby steps now and then it's gonna be off to the races, so come on in. All right, so similar to the last exercise, what we're going to do is create a little counter, but only one number is going to appear at a time. So when a new number comes on, the old one's gonna go away. So we're gonna do file new, and again, HTML5 canvas is fine for this. And we're going to now have a new clean document with a blank keyframe here because nothing's on the stage. I'm gonna switch my fill color over to this lovely dark blue. I'm gonna use my paintbrush tool, and in the center of the stage, I'm just gonna draw the number one. Now, my blank keyframe is a normal keyframe. It's a filled in black circle because something is on the stage in that frame. Now, I want to draw a number two on frame number two. I can't pull the playhead forward, so I'm just going to right click here. And if I do insert keyframe, we learned before that adding a new keyframe, again, duplicates the content from the previous frame. So frame one and two are the same. So if I want just a two on frame number two, I would have to use my selection tool to grab the one, delete it, and now I have a blank keyframe because I deleted what was in the second keyframe. I now have a blank keyframe and I could draw the number two. Um, however, I'm going to undo all that and I wanna skip the unnecessary step of having to delete things myself. So back in frame one, I only have a frame one here. I'm now gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna select insert blank keyframe, all right? Insert keyframe would create a new keyframe and duplicate everything in frame one, whereas insert blank keyframe is going to give me my hollow circle and a blank stage. So now I can just draw the number two in frame number two and I have a one in frame number one and a two in frame number two. I'm gonna right click again down here and select, there it is, I'm sorry, insert blank keyframe. And I had to move my mouse so far, I'm so tired, but there I have my blank keyframe and I'll draw the number three. Again, I don't like having to right click, read, and then try to figure out where I'm going. So from here on out, I'm just gonna go back to frame number three we're going to use F7, which is the keyboard shortcut for inserting a blank keyframe. So right now I'm gonna press F7. That gives me a blank keyframe in my timeline here. It clears the stage. I'm gonna draw the number four. I'm gonna hit F7 one more time to get a blank keyframe in frame five. And then I'm gonna draw the number five. So now in frames one, two, three, four, and five, I have new content in each frame. And when you're creating your own like real animations like explosions or run cycles or counters like this, this is probably the method you're gonna to wanna to take. You're gonna be clearing previous content and drawing new content. Now, similar to the last exercise, we now have this animation happening very quickly because it's all happening literally in five frames, which is like one-tenth of a second. So what I'm going to do, just like the last exercise, I'm gonna go frame one, and I'm gonna hit a special key to add frames. Anybody know what that key is? Yes, you in the front row. F5, right. So I'll hit F5 one, two, three, four, five times. I'll go to the next key frame, and that's by hitting F5, I'm going to be pushing all the other frames forward. So I'll select this frame, and then one, two, three, four, five. I'm adding this span of regular frames, where again, during these regular frames, the stuff from the previous keyframe stays static. What does that mean? Nothing is moving on these frames here. Go to the next keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the next keyframe, hit F5, one, two, three, four, five. So now I have a counter that is going to play, and I can see a new number on each new keyframe. Depending on your needs, you might want to have more space or time in between keyframes. What's that? What's that sound? You know what time it is? It's time for Blank Keyframe Boot Camp! What's that? It's where I'm going to yell and scream instructions at you in rapid fire sequence to see if you can keep up. You need to learn this stuff inside and out and do it with your eyes closed. So, 
We're going to be off to the races. Follow along. Giddy up! All right, get ready. We're going to go to File, New. HTML5 Canvas is fine for now. We're going to use the brush tool. I want you to draw the number one in the middle of the stage. You're going to then hit F7 to create a new blank keyframe. Draw the number two. Hit F7 again. Draw the number three. Hit F7 again. Draw the number four. Come on, you can do it. Hit F7 again. Draw the number five. All right, we have our keyframe animation here where each new frame has something new and nothing from the previous keyframe. Now it's time to add some space. So what are we going to do? We're going to go F5 crazy. Go back to frame one, hit F5, one, two, three, four, five times. Go to the next keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the next keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the next keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the next keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, did I miss one? F5. There you go. Go back to the beginning, hit return or enter, and there is your animation. All right, you did it. I'm super proud of you. If you didn't do it, go back and do it. But I know you did it. So um, right now we're done with our boot camps. They may have seemed a little bit silly, but really I need you to get these fundamentals of keyframes and blind keyframes and frames in your head so that when we move forward again, we're going to have smooth sailing and do some really cool stuff. I also want you to take my keyboard shortcut guide and again, tape it to the top of your monitor. You need to memorize F5, F6, and F7. Those need to be like built-in muscle memory where you just slam on those keys whenever you need them, all right? So again, I'm very happy that we got through these fundamentals. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, we're going to move on now to doing some practical real-world implementation of building keyframed animations, then doing classic tweens, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But we got a lot of the basics out of the way, so congratulations. Normal,